Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad. Quick update. Super Mario 64 Mixer is just a few steps away. In hacking Super Mario 64, the ability to import levels from other ROMs has been made possible, thanks to the modding community. Uh, now imagine we have a copy of Super Mario 64 where all of the level themes are the same, but all the level models are based on Lethal Lava Land. So all of them are Lethal Lava Land, but just retextured basically. And now we also have a copy of Super Mario 64, where all of the level models are based on Womp's Fortress. So Womp's Fortress for every level, different textures though. Now, using a script, we would be able to import the first level from a randomly selected version of the game. So Bob on Battlefield could be using Lethal Lava Land or Womp's Fortress's model. The same could work for every level, picking them in order. I think it would need the ability to select ROMs to mix in. So you can pick which ones that it will run through the script. Uh, and because of the way it would work, we could also have two copies using the same base model, but are different renditions of them. So we could have all the different levels, but slightly different just to make them, to, just, just so we can figure out which one's the best rendition of, of the mixed levels. And using the same logic, we could also, as long as the game works the same and has the same ID, IDs of the major objects in the levels, we could also use other hacks of Mario 64 and have a Super Mario 64 hack randomizer as part of the Super Mario 64 mixer. I think the hacking community would enjoy that. The only other thing that we need to do to make Super Mario 64 mixer a thing is to actually make the different level variants. I've thought about making a Discord server to get people working on levels, but I'm not sure how to manage that. So I'm leaving that for alone for now. Before I finish, I need to point out that we can also just import levels manually. So we could do Super Mario 64 Mixer right now. We could just use a random level on a wheel, or use a random number generator, and just import it manually. That's all I wanted to say, so thank you for watching this, and I hope we can get this done soon because I really want to play it.